What's up guys, it's the Wooden Cardist here with another video and today I'm going to be teaching you how to do a simple dribble. So grab your favorite deck of cards and let's get into it. Before we do start this video off, I would kindly ask all the new people that are here at my channel to go ahead and subscribe. That helps me out a ton and please like the video, I'd really appreciate it. This series will be a little bit more of beginner cardistry just for people that want to start learning new things. I will go up into more intermediate and slightly advanced um, techniques and moves as the channel farthers and, and grows. Um, but one thing I do want to say is try and use for this move if you're just now learning a thinner stock or a newer deck. Don't use an older one that clumps because um, you will have trouble trying to do the move if you do. All right, so I think that's all I have got to say. So let's switch angles and I'll show you how it's done. All right, so here's what you're gonna do to start off. You're gonna to wanna to have your deck of cards in an elevated dealer's grip like so, with your ring finger on the top, your pinky on the bottom, your thumb on this long side of the deck, and your ring and middle finger on the opposite side. And so what you're gonna come and do with your opposite hand is you're gonna pinch these two corners with your thumb and your ring finger. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take it like this and kind of pinch. But you can't really do that just like that. It doesn't feel very natural, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to do that. And then you're just going to push with your pointer, your index finger down. And then when you have this position, you're going to slowly release pressure with your thumb. So this is going to take a lot of practice and muscle memory. Um, so here, I'm going to try and do it with this hand just to kind of see what y'all's would look like. So this is probably what yours is going to look like whenever you try. It's gonna be like choppy, it's not gonna be nice, but just practice at it and um, it'll be a lot smoother. One pointer I do have is not like press super, super hard. Light pressure, light pressure is all you need and just work with your thumb on it. Light pressure. And you're not using these two fingers, your pinky or your ring finger at all, those are just out of the way. So you can tuck those or hang them out to the side or whatever you wanna do. But what I do is I kinda of just like curl them in and yeah, it's just a really nice move. It looks really cool on camera. And it's a nice thing to learn how to do. One more thing I forgot to mention. Um, if you're trying this for the first time, you're probably, after about 10 minutes, your, your fingers are gonna get very sore. Um, so I know for me, especially if I use like a brand, brand new deck, my fingers get sore just trying to break it in. And especially if you've never really practiced or handled the cards, your fingers are going to get sore. And I would say do it to the point where like you, it, it, it's uncomfortable. So like don't do it to where you have blisters on your hands because I've done that before. Um, and it's just eh, like eh, it, it hurts. Don't, don't do it to where you get blisters on your hands, guys. I learned that the hard way. Just practice. Muscle memory is all that matters. And yeah, you'll just get better and better at it as time goes on. Thanks so much for watching the video, guys. I really appreciate it. If you like this content, please go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. That helps me out a lot. Can we get to 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year? That's my question for you guys. So if you want that to happen, I will do like a massive, massive giveaway if that would happen by the end of the year. That would be so awesome and means so much to me. So if you want that to happen, please share with your friends. That would help me out a lot. Anyway, that's about all I have time for today. Thanks so much for watching. I'm the Wooden Cardist. I'll see you on the next one.